Hey, what's up YouTube? This is L and I'm going to be continuing the Call of Duty Ghost Pro Tips series. Today I'm going to be reviewing you how to flank in Call of Duty Ghost. Let's get into it. So what I'm going to show you right here is I'm going to get behind the enemy spawn. And the thing that you want to know is that in every map there are three main routes. It's the right, middle, and the center. And people tend to flock towards the center. So what you want to do is you want to get behind them in their spawn by taking an outside route normally. And you want to get it, get it to an area, get to an area where they won't expect you, and pick people off, like I did right there. Another important thing for flanking is to find an area that has a lot of cover. The enemy team's actually going to do that pretty well right here. I see that there's the enemy team over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get behind some cover. And that guy, that guy did really well in flanking because what he did is he came around and he used that cover of the bar to his advantage. And as you're going to see, I'm actually going to get pretty lucky. I'm going to pick that those that guy up but I'm not going to be able to pick up the other guys so that's something you want to also be aware of when you're trying to flank is that you want to have find an area that has a lot of cover another thing to be considered when flanking is to use areas or vantage points that not many people use or check so I'm going to be using this middle alcove area to pick off somebody who's going to run through the middle main route and my teammates actually going to get a satcom in a few seconds and I'm going to be able to spot the guy and I'm going to be, use, be able to use the cover provided and the, alco the ability of surprise because no one checks this alco to pick that guy off. An advantage to this flanking technique is when you can do something like this where you drop down and the enemy's back is actually to you and unfortunately I'm actually going to have some trouble with, the, with getting this kill but normally if you are able to have good aim you can actually pick these kills up relatively easily. Sometimes you won't get that lucky and you'll actually find enemies like this where it's kind of on their side. Unfortunately, I'm actually not going to be able to pick that guy up, but I do pick this last guy up. Another thing to consider is to stay relatively close to one of the three main routes. Because sometimes you can catch people like this in one of the main routes and you're able to pick up another kill. Another advantage of flanking is that you can actually get some pretty nice double kills. Like right here I'm going to ca actually catch this guy from the side and I'm actually not going to be able to pick up that guy. My, my dog's actually going to pick that kill up but I'm also going to pick up this guy to my left and it's actually going to be a nice double kill right there. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the end of my how to flank Call of Duty Ghost pro tips. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share. Have a nice day and God bless.